Have you ever wondered or asked yourself, why do I keep failing? You take action after action after action, yet you keep failing. And you wonder, they told me to take action, but is action enough? Have you ever heard that failing to plan is planning to fail? So the reason why we fail most of the time is because we have not planned out our actions. Today we're going to go through five steps on how to plan our actions, make sure they're the right actions going towards the right place. So our energy is focused in the right actions, the right tasks, and they're going towards the right place. So first step, very important guys, very important. We need to know what our passion is. The definition of the word passion for myself is something that I could wake up doing every single day without getting tired of doing it. Something that brings me joy. Something that's not, you can't put a quantity on it. It's something that I could do even if I was extremely tired. What is that thing for you? Very important to find that out. That's step number one. Step number two. What are some of the actions or the objectives that I need to put in place in order to live that every single day? So what is my passion and what are the objectives, the tasks, the actions that I must take every day to live that passion every single day? Step number three, go take a look at those actions. Are some of them actions that we take every day? Are some of them objectives that can only be accomplished after a certain period of time? So this is where we set what I love to call a live line. We've been conditioned to believe that they are deadlines. In my opinion, the more we accomplish objectives, the more we become alive. So I switch it up from deadline to live lines. So step number three is very important to go set your live lines for your actions, for your objectives. Step number four, we're gonna get back to that. Step number four is the most important. But we're gonna get to step number five first. Step number five, impact the lives of the people that surround you. If what you do solely impacts yourself, it will not last. I do believe that every single day, we must work first on ourself and have an impact on ourself that eventually it spreads out to other people. So I do believe the true value of life is found in the impact that we could have on other people. So let's go back through the steps. Step number one, what, what is my passion? Find that. Step number two, what are the objectives? What are the tasks that I can, I can do every day to make sure I live that passion? Step number three, are some tasks and objectives going to be accomplished in one day, in a month, in a year? Very important to know. Give our brain a map to follow. Step number five, make sure it impacts the people, the lives of the people that surround us. Now step number four, step number four, this is the one. That changes everything. And now we have a structure to surround step number four. It's action. Take action. Remember, at the beginning we said you might have been taking action, but there was no structure to it. Now it's important that you know why you're taking action and where you're going. You have set a roadmap for yourself, for your brain to pinpoint all the things that you have set in motion. And here is one of the most important detail. It must be written down on a piece of paper, not in your phone, not just in your mind. It must be written down so that you see that my passion is guiding people to be the best version of themselves every single day. The only way that I can do this is by doing it for myself every single day. And I know that I'm going to take action every single day. And here are the actions that I'm going to take. Here are the things that I want to accomplish 
for myself, for my family, for my community. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, it was your boy, Avatar Fit. Stay fit, stay blessed, and keep applying everyday progress.